Ready for the next one? What color is the feather, Eduardo? The way that Miss Heather teaches has greatly impacted the lives of the students. Mm. It is yellow. Yeah. Good job. And really enabled them to have a better quality of life. <laughs> which is really what it's all about. I want to highlight the positive things that are going on at Lighthouse School. Believe it, just watch. These students, every time we go in, it excites us all to see them living the model, yes we can. Our children's abilities range from, you know, being in a wheelchair, uh, cerebral palsy, Down syndrome. Good job, Ali. Good job. Yeah, and can you find the same? Oftentimes we have a student that's in a wheelchair but also hard of hearing. Good job, Tia. So there's multiple disabilities going on at the same time. These students are working at level just like any normal child and they have actual targets that are set for them. So it's not that they're just getting busy work, they're actually working and they're making accomplishments just like the mainstream school. Miss Heather is a very creative teacher. Good job Ken, nice matching. She looks at each individual child and sees what engages them, what actually excites them and then through that means she sort of teaches them key skills that they need. Ken got the right answer. To progress and move forward. I am the parent of of Brandon McTaggart. All right, B, we're gonna sing our alien song. Who has cerebral palsy. He cannot sit up, walk, talk, eat, or anything, and he attends the Lighthouse School. The alien, good. I once met an alien, I once met an alien. These teachers and caregivers work so hard, probably a lot harder than even the majority of other teachers in the school, um, just because these children are the critical children. They're the ones that have so many special needs. That's very good. And they're all so individual. So I I think these teachers are constantly have to think out of the box, they're constantly having to be up on their toes, constantly having to chase them around, constantly trying to figure out how to teach them, how to bring out their best potential. Running, good boy! She really understands the need to allow students to express themselves, to make choices and to be in control of their own environment and she enables them to communicate in whatever way they can. That's what's fun about it too, right? Designing things that you know, are gonna pique their interest and they're smiling when they're engaging in the activity and it's fun so they wanna to continue to do it. Some students that if you were to ever see them just on the street, you may think that you know, they're limited as to what they can do, but then you put them in this environment and they're blossoming and having a wonderful time. Yellow. Come by and visit. The children love having people come out. Red. The school is wide open for volunteers. Can you point to Red, Tian? And I think that it would bring about some sensitivity and awareness. Good job, Tian, you found Red. Because they are our citizens, our special citizens, and we need more people to be aware of that. So I think probably that would be the biggest thing, is just be involved. I gave him all my M&Ms, I gave him all my M&Ms. Brandon is happy to be at school. When you ask him, you know, you want to go to school, he smiles. He's happy to be here, which means that he's getting the love, the care, the attention, and the stimulation that he needs to, to make him happy to be here. And then that makes me happy. I gave him all my M&Ms and chocolate bars.